Hey, um, before we start with the next workflow, uh, here on our previous workflow, the download monthly reports, make sure to remove the default value that we assigned to the in arguments. And after that, uh, hit the save button and let's close that workflow. So the next workflow that we will develop is the system one merge monthly reports and the task of this workflow is to merge the downloaded reports from a given tax id in year so for the precondition monthly report exists in a certain folder so make sure that the previous workflow the download monthly report is successful and you have uh, sample reports like this and for the post action is a constructed merge excel file and it will be saved as a yearly report file so later i will show you that now this uh, next workflow will have three argument and one three in argument and one out argument so let's start now creating the sequence for this workflow right click on the system one folder and select add new sequence and we will name this sequence um, system one merge monthly reports and hit the create button and let's start creating the four arguments so let's start with the tax id next is the year and then the report directory path and last one is the out yearly report Path. and make sure to set the direction of the out yearly report path argument to out and all of the string type or string okay and here we will start by creating a data table uh, variable so we will name that variable uh, dt reports So this variable will contain the merged data. So make sure to uh, select the variable type data table for this variable. And next, uh, we have every time we create, we use a data table variable, we need to first initialize it. So we will be using an assign activity to do that. And let's just indicate the purpose of this uh, assign activity. So for the two field, input the DT reports variable and for the value field, we will just say uh, new data table. So that is how you initialize a data table variable. Next is we need to look through all the reports of the given tax ID. So for, for testing purposes, we will be using this uh, folder path. So we need to have another assign activity here. And this will be creating a report folder path. So in the two field, we will create a variable and name it report folder path, similar with what we did in the previous workflow. Now for the value field, it should be uh, the in report directory path plus uh, the in tax ID. So we will concatenate the tax ID on the report directory path to get this uh, folder structure. And then after that, we will be, wait, let me just check if we miss something. I think that's good. Next to that, we will be looping through all the file within that folder. So we will be needing a for each activity. So look for a for each activity. And for each report file or for each monthly report file. I'm sorry. Uh, it should be a for each file in a folder activity, not a for each activity. Let's delete that. Look for a uh, for each file in a folder activity. And here I will just indicate this is the monthly reports. Now for the for the uh, in in folder field, we will assign the report folder path. 
and yep that's all that we need for the for the loop uh, setting now inside the do container we will add a read csv activity to read each monthly report file so read csv and then input the <coughs> current file that full name so current file that full name will will get the complete path or the absolute path of each file and then for the output to field um, we will create a variable and name it dt monthly report right and after that uh, we will be adding a merge data table activity so look for the merge data table activity and place that after the read csv activity and here uh, input the dt monthly report uh, variable in the source field and for the destination field we will be using our dt reports variable and make sure that the missing schema action is add and next is so this will be this will happen to all the available report file within the uh, report folder path so next to that after the merging of all files are completed the next step is to create a file for the yearly report file so we will uh, collapse this uh, for each file in a folder activity first and then let's add another assign activity and this will be for uh, the yearly report path and for the two field assign the out yearly report path argument and for the value field uh, we will be using the first the report directory path plus the this is the correct format based on the ui path hint or guide and then we need to concatenate the tax id and another hyphen and then concatenate i'm sorry uh, we should start with the year so let's use the in year argument plus a hyphen plus concatenate the tax id and this should be an xlsx type of excel file so hit ok after typing that and next step is we need to uh, use a right range activity so look for a right range activity and this will <coughs> write the merge uh, merge reports okay I think I select the the wrong right range activity let me delete that first uh, okay make sure to select the right range activity under the workbook type because this one is a different one so select this and uh, you will you can identify which one is correct if there is an option to select the workbook, workbook path. So here we will write the uh, merge reports. So for the workbook path, we will be using the out yearly report that we just formulated on the previous assigned activity. For the sheet name, uh, we can use maybe the tax ID as the sheet name. So we will assign the in tax ID argument now for the data table the data table that contains all the reports or the merge report is the dt reports data table because that is our destination data table in here and then after that um, make sure to enable the add headers property of the right range activity and after that we can test our workflow so 
again first before testing this workflow make sure that there are sample reports available in the report folder and then you should use this tax ID as the in tax ID argument so let's use that that is FR use your use the tax ID that you use on the previous uh, test do not copy my sample because this might not be available in your test data now for the uh, in report path it should be um, data report and a backslash and then for the year it should be 2021 now for the out yearly report uh, that should be blank so just save after assigning a default value to the in arguments and now I can test this by clicking run file and it works and did not show any indication of error so if that's the same on your end just click this refresh on the project window and there should be a file created there with the uh, with this name format yearly dash report dash the year dash the tax ID now if we open that it should contain the merge report and you can see here that this report came from different month so this one is um, April because that's the first month and then December and then January and then June so if, if that's the same result on your side then this your um, your merge workflow is working correctly so that's all for this workflow before we finish this video make sure to remove the default value that you assign during the testing and then save your workflow now we can close it so for the next workflow or for the next step we will be um, developing the system one upload yearly report workflow so I'll see you in the following video.